Americans and the French are trying to take over. That's what they want. Colonialism. Why you know, the oil, the minerals, everything they want. The demons, the demons, the demons, the demons. Yeah, they take, they want everything. They want everything. Who's got the diamonds? So who are you representing right here? I'm representing Mugabe. And Why? Babian people, because there's an African struggle all over the world. The capitalists want everything and they want every country. They want everything in Africa and they plan to take it. And you people are helping them. The sanction giver. Who put sanctions on a little country that's trying to survive? Who put who put sanction on Haiti? Who put sanction on, on Cuba? Who put sanctions on, 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 on Venezuela? Why? By who? Why was something put by the U.S.? But why? Well, the, people are dying in Zimbabwe. What do you want to do? I'm what from Zimbabwe. I you know Zimbabwe. What does the U.S. care about people dying? What does the U.S. care about people dying? Black people dying. What did the U.S. care? Why? The capitalists are there trying to take the country back. People are dying every day, people are disappearing, he's killing people every day. We say attack the sanction giver first. The people who put sanctions on you, the people who put sanctions on you, attack them first and we'll be with you. But you're attacking a man who brought the freedom to your country. But do you know the current situation that exists in Zimbabwe right now? I know that if you go back to England, it's going to be worse. I know that when, when, when Zimbabwe was Rhodesia, and Aaron Smith gave hundreds and thousands of acres of land to one family while y'all had nothing. Right. That's what I know. Absolutely. We and don't. The soldiers and That's people who fought in the war were getting nothing. We're, we're getting nothing. They're angry because Mugabe took the land back that was stolen in the beginning and gave it to the people who were struggling in the revolution. That's why the United States and Britain are angry at Mugabe because they won't let them take over the country like they want to. They've taken over every country. Look at where they've got, the United States they've put got sanctions. Look at Cuba, 50 up. years of sanctions on that country. Look at Haiti. Look what they did to Haiti. They destroyed Haiti because Haiti beat the French. It's a war now they're going Africa against Zimbabwe. Leave Zimbabwe alone. They put sanctions on that country for how many years? How many years they promised to give back the land, then they changed? What's the name of that, that treaty they made? Yeah, they had a treaty with Lancaster. Can I just ask, are you going to be meeting with President Mugabe while he's here? Maybe this time we will. We met, for, we met him the last time. What you want? You want us to say something to him? Yes, we want to know what his legacy is. His legacy is free Zimbabwe. Lamb Zimbabwe for the people. We don't want Europeans nowhere in Africa. We don't want to be educated or miseducated by Europeans. And that's what he's doing to y'all. But are you sure that you have the right information, that you're supporting the right cause? I'm what makes you so sure? And what man, organization, what is this organization called? I'm supporting a man that says take back the land from the Europeans. They have no business coming there and taking your land saying God sent them. That's who I'm supporting. What's the name of your organization? December 12th movement. And you say you're friends of Zimbabwe? Friends and supporters of Zimbabwe. How long have you been supporting Zimbabwe? 35 years. Since before, during the liberation struggle, we supported ZANU, PF, and ZAPU. ZANU and ZAPU during the liberation struggle. We supported all African liberation movements. We presented supplies, uh, information to people, garnered international support for the international for the national liberation struggles and have been friends with Zimbabwe before I received independence in 1980. But are you sure that what you were supporting in the 1980s still stands in Zimbabwe right now? Yes, we're certain of it. Zimbabwe is having problems, but the problems are not because of the leadership of President Mugabe. The problems come from the sanctions that were put in place by the people who are supporting your being here. And those are the same people who oppress us here. So that's that's the principal problem, that the, that the Western countries have decided that President Mugabe is going to have to pay for returning the land to the Zimbabwean people. Otherwise, they had no contradiction with him until the land reform program. Yes, he was, he was a good there. Man he was there. That. He was their model of the great post-colonial president. But once he went from 
once they instituted the land reform program, he went from an angel to a devil. He became the yep. black Hitler overnight. overnight. And the United States and Britain reneged on the Lancaster Agreement in terms of the land question. So that's what the problem is. It's the sanctions, which, is, which are designed to create the type of opposition that you all represent. Because they, misrep they, they have people misunderstanding and misdirecting their activity when the activity should be against ending the sanctions and not against Mugabe, President Mugabe and South Korea. What is your name, sir? My name is Roger. And what is your name, sir? Zulu. Zulu Sankofa. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the scene right here before the United Nations where, as you could hear, we have been speaking to the December 12th movement they're setting up and uh, they are hoping that, I guess, uh, they are going to be in solidarity with the president. And this is one of the big banners that they have uh, right here. If you have any questions for them, please type them and I will ask. But uh, right now, I might also be on my way to the United Nations because they are just before the United Nations. Uh, this is marvelous Mflanga Nyahuye. Here in New York, I was talking right there with the December 12th movement and uh, they are in support of President Robert Mugabe. And we'll come back to them a, a, a little bit later on, but if you have any questions for them, please pose them and I'll ask them. There we go. This is a big poster right in the middle of Manhattan here in New York. They're flying the Zimbabwe flag. They're flying the Zimbabwe flag right there. The Zimbabwe flag is flying right there. And there's another flag on the other side of which I'm going to ask what it's all about before I leave. So how long are you planning to be out here for? What is the other flag? I understand that the other flag stands for black nationalism, but now I'm signing out and I will join you again later when we get to the United Nations where Zimbabweans are protesting against President Robert Mugabe, who they accuse of misruling the country. But this is what's going on on my way to the United Nations. Please join in the conversation. And I will continue in VOA Shona and VOA Ndebele as well. That's why you're talking Zimbabwe. Know that you should talk 